for part two of this week's lab, we're going to be interfacing to an LCD screen. So the LCD screen that you're given in your kit looks like this. The holes here on the top of the LCD screen require pins to be added to them. Now you have two options for adding pins to the LCD screen. You can use longer pins, like the ones in my hand. This I'd say is your preferred option because it allows you to add wiring underneath the LCD screen. So if you look at my board here, you can see I've used the long pins and I've soldered them to the top. This allows me to have room underneath my LCD board to have wiring and other components. Your other option is to use these shorter set of pins. If you use these shorter set of pins, they must get pressed into the LCD screen. In order to do that, the pins must go on the bottom side of the LCD screen. They must be aligned in the holes, like such. And in order to press them in, so if you notice, the top of these pins have a little teardrop or eyelet shape that's filled with solder. In order to press this in, because you won't be able to do it by hand, you must use this press. It's available in the back room, or it'll also be available in the lab for you to use. Now, in order to press these pins in, I'll just angle my screen down, the long side of the pins, so the side of the pins without the eyelet on it, must go into the top of the of the press like so so they're fully inserted once it's pro once the board is properly seated hold one edge of the board so that there's no stress on the pins and you'll have to apply pressure on the handle until the pins are fully seated and it'll have a nice solid connection. As you can see, the pins are now fully seated on the board and you can see the top of the pins poking through. Now, you don't need to solder the pins for it to function, however I would highly recommend that you do solder the tops of these pins. What will happen is with time, these connections will wiggle loose and the display will stop working properly. Now, this is just the first section of the lab, actually putting the pins in the LCD display. You still must physically wire the LCD display. So as you can see here, I've added in the wiring on my LCD board to connect these pins to my Arduino. Inside the lab, there's a wiring diagram that shows you how to do this, as well as what pin numbers the wires go to and from, as well as the ground and 5 volt power connections required in order to make the LCD work.